Hey everyone, this is Karan here. You are welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I am back with a new video and today this topic is something interesting. We are gonna install Android 11 GSI on our Redmi Note 8. How to install that GSI, what files you need. I will show you the whole installation process. So make sure you watch this video till the end. I will try to show you everything without skipping any single second. So make sure you watch this video till the end. And now let's get quickly straight to the installation process. Okay, so as you can see, I am in the recovery mode TWRP 3.3.1.0. This is the official recovery you need to install Android 11 based ROM, Android 11 based GSI on your device. You need two files actually. So first of all, let me show you those two files. First of all, you need this file Pixel Experience Kingo 10.0. This is the build you need. So this is the compulsory build you need. And the second one, the thing which you need is this one system.img. This is the Android 11 system.img. You need these two files. So first of all, if you're coming from a room, if you're coming from any other custom room, simply the, all the steps what we have to do is go to wipe, advanced wipe, dalvi, catch, system, vendor, data. These are the five things what we have to do to wipe, simply swipe to wipe. It will take some time, so make sure you have a proper knowledge, proper patience what you are doing. As you can see, everything is done. So simply go back, go to install button. Here we have to select this pixel experience gingo file, swipe to confirm flash. It will take some time so have patience and uh, I am just recommending you to install this recovery and choose this recovery to install Android 11 or any other custom rooms because TWRP is the official uh, officially TWRP is available for this device so it is better to use the official things instead of unofficial recoveries like uh, other revolution OS custom recovery that recovery is not bad actually but uh, obviously official is official so it's better to use official one and if you want to install Android 11 like me like we are using in this video so it's better to use Android it is better to use TWRP official one to install Android 11 your GSI you will be booted into Android 11 for sure I will show you a whole installation process so make sure you are watching this video without skipping any part I'm not gonna skip any part I will show you the whole installation process okay I will show you I will try to show you the brief review of that GSI also if I got time if it not take that much time so after you can see patching system image unconditionally you can see patching vendor image unconditionally after this I will show you all steps so make sure you're watching so let us wait now so here you can see script script is succeeded so everything is done what we have to do is we have to go back now just go back again go to wipe this time go to advanced wipe now what we have to do is Dalvik catch system so these three things what we have to wipe now simply swipe to wipe okay it will not take that much time as you can see everything is done simply go back again go to install again now select on install image select system.image select system.image swipe to confirm flash as you can see it is installing we are installing android 11 system on our redmi note 8 as you can see calculating restore details and it is installing it will not take that much time because it is just a system we used a vendor if you don't know what is gsi and everything about that make sure you can google it to install to get proper knowledge before installing this GSI as you can see image flash completed as everything is done now we can simply reboot system if it is rebooting if uh, it shows you this warning simply swipe to reboot and check out if it is working or not redmi by xiaomi as you can see it is unlocked and we are at the logo and uh, i don't think so it will boot up because we need to format data once i think wait i'm just i have just tried it if it is working or not it is not working it will boot into custom recovery now i think yes it is booted into custom recovery if it is booted like this simply go to wipe go to format data y e s okay simply go to this and here it will format data it will take some time so just be patient again 
is you can see formatting data is done simply reboot system now you can see no os installed warning is nowhere so it means you will be booted soon into android 11 so one step is succeeded we have successfully installed android 11 gsa on our device so let's let us hope that it will be booted successfully we are at the boot logo at least now and here it is we are now finally at uh, the boot animation ones we are at the boot animation finally as you can see android this is the latest android 11 gsi we have just installed on our redmi note 8 so i hope it should boot it will not take that much time i think it is booted almost booted almost booted let us wait so here it is finally we have successfully booted android 11 on our redmi note 8 first of all we can select language so just choose english i'm from india so english india start and this is the whole ui you get uh, i think it will take some time to connect to sim cards so there's not an issue actually but it will take some time and until then you can see the networks are there now so it will take some time to connect let me show you how much time it will take i'm doing everything i'm setting up my device on android 11 ahead of you so make sure you're watching and watching and watching as you can see it will ask me to select my preferences so just select those preferences and now it will ask me to connect to wi-fi and there is no option of skipping this so i have to connect to wi-fi or i can use mobile network for setup i will connect my wi-fi let me set up once and you can just wait and check it out what's going on how to properly set up your device it is connected connecting connecting this may take a few minutes so as I already told you, you have to follow all the steps which I had, which I have done in this video. So then you will be able to successful flash, successfully flash Android 11 GSI on your Redmi Note 8. This guide will work in almost all other devices also, but just you need uh, when I flash the Pixel Experience room for my device, you can choose any other Android 10 based room for your device. GSI this with this GSI will work in almost all Xiaomi devices if you have a AB partitions uh, AB partition device. What is AB partition and other things? Make sure to check them before doing anything. Make sure to have proper knowledge before doing anything regarding this thing because this could be tricky this could be dangerous for your device if you have no knowledge no proper knowledge for uh, regarding these things so as you can see checking for updates installing updates it will take some time so I, as i already told you i'm not gonna skipping any part i will show you everything from installation to some brief review so make sure you're watching and uh, let us wait now to properly install the updates and let us see how much time it will take to update it will not take that much time because as so finally you can see bring your data from etc simply click on don't copy or whatever else you want to do i'm just showing you everything checking info it will ask you to verify your pattern or use my google account instead so as i have already verified checking info you can now skip this part skip i'm just showing you so you can set up later so wait accept skip skip adding the finishing touches this may take a few minutes and here it is finally we have successfully booted into android 11 gsi android 11 on our redmi note 8 which is a very very good thing uh, here wait let me show you android version is r security patch you get is 5th of march 2020 this was the thing which is, this is how you're gonna install it on your device the other things some brief things which you get some new things which you get here is the power menu is almost same you get the screenshot option and uh, by default you get these square square or rectangle yeah, square tiles which you can go and customize from here only no option is available okay just go back and uh, wait let me check out some other things and display you, you can enable or disable the dark mode here turns on from sunset to sunshine turns out at custom time and other things uh, no extra things here um sound panel you don't get any extra things here okay 
अकाउंट सिक्योरिटी फिंगर प्रिंट अदर थिंग्स आर देयर सिस्टम जस्टर्स जस्टर्स आर अवेलेबल विच द मेन थिंग इज यू कैन सी होम जस्टर इज नॉट वर्किंग विच इज विच देर इज अ फिक्स अवेलेबल फॉर दिस बट आई डिड नॉट अप्लाइड एज यू कैन सी वी हैव जस्ट इंस्टॉल्ड इट ऑन एडवाइस एंड यू कैन जस्ट मूव बैक फ्रॉम हेयर क्लिक ऑन कैमरा इज कैमरा वर्किंग और नॉट You can see the permission manager is changed only this time while using the app or deny, which is a very good thing. So you can use this one and uh, yeah, camera is working. So at least camera is working perfectly. You can use calls. You can use other things. So this was a short review, but I can I will make a full review of this Android 11 GSI on our Redmi Note 8 soon. So until then. This was all from today's video and until then goodbye see you in the next video soon thanks for watching okay